This is not your typical mariachi. When Rita isn't on stage, you can find her scaling buildings in southwest Detroit, bringing internet to her neighbors. A lot of people don't know that there is still a huge population of people that don't have internet, especially in poor, low-income communities. This is Tag, the NBC Left Field series, where we bring you stories about people you tag in the comments. And this week, we're in Detroit to meet a photographer who is tagged in the comments on Facebook. This is Eric Howard, and we're going to help him bring his photographs to life. This story is about Rita Ramirez, a mariachi who's working to bring internet to Southwest Detroiters. I am one of the first female musicians in my family. My grandfather was a mariachi himself when he was young. Mariachi has always been male dominated. You can look at old Mexican movies and if you have a mariachi in it, it's always gonna be all male. We are the first female-led mariachi group in Detroit and Michigan. The female musician that started the group, she asked me to sing with them. It was so empowering to see the females at, at the front. It just felt powerful. Being around Rita is, is inspirational, it's, it's creative. Rita, Rita has grown up here in Southwest Detroit. Whether she's doing you know, translation services or community organizing or climbing on roofs, installing transmitters so that folks can get you know, high speed internet at a much more affordable rate. It weighs more than me, yo. <laughs> she's engaged in coalition work. She's, she's building with, with others. Being able to use those talents to help my community were kind of like the motivation so it's honestly fun to be able to like meet community needs and to be able to work with your community like on a daily um, and be able to talk to people that you otherwise might not have had the opportunity to talk to. Nos dejo instalar internet, who else wants internet? <laughs> I speak Spanglish a lot. 40% of Detroiters shorters don't have internet and I grew up with these stories of not having internet when I was young, not having access to even the library because I didn't have someone to take me to the library. One of the big things about EII is that we don't just want to install internet, is that we also want to educate people. The Equitable Internet Initiative is made up of local community organizations who are making internet accessible to Detroiters through wireless broadband sharing. 90% of the homes that we've connected have not had internet um, any time, at any, any point of their life. Since 2016, the initiative has been a more affordable option than some of the larger service providers in the area. So if all the numbers turn on, that means both ends are like great and they work perfectly. They might seem like very different topics, but like being able to do mariachi and like do the equitable internet initiative, they all come back to the same connections and just being a female and taking that lead and being up at the forefront is a way to mo motivate other females to also want to be at the forefront. I hope that by me doing this, I'm empowering another female to do it too. I just love what I do and I wouldn't change it for the world.